In Azerbaijan, two children with severe pneumonia due to influenza A H5N1 were successfully treated by this paediatric hospital team. Both children had oxygen saturations on arrival of between 75 and 85 percent. Non-rebreathing face masks were not available, but pulse oximetry showed the hypoxemia responding to high flow of oxygen of initially 8 litres per minute by simple face mask. The mother of the child with the most severe hypoxemia was shown her own normal SpO2 and this was compared with her child's low saturation as well as its response to treatment. She then helped her child day and night to comply with the seven days of oxygen treatment that was required. Mechanical ventilation was not required and both children fully recovered in spite of multi-organ involvement. Their oxygen treatment, however, required 18 large cylinders of oxygen. It may come as a surprise to many doctors that such high flow rates of oxygen are sometimes necessary for correction of severe hypoxemia. Part of the explanation for this is the high peak inspiratory flow rate that occurs for a short period during each breath. To illustrate this, just remember by comparison the extreme peak flow rates that are measured during forceful expiration when we are monitoring asthmatics. Even though the peak expiratory flow rate is only occurring for a fraction of a second, that peak flow rate is often several hundred litres per minute. Perhaps now you understand that even in quiet inspiration, the peak inspiratory flow rate can easily be 30 litres per minute. And with a different pattern of respiration, for example in pneumonia, that peak in inspiratory flow rate could even be 40 litres per minute. If we are only delivering 4 litres per minute of oxygen by a simple face mask or nasal cannula, the concentration of oxygen that is actually breathed in by the patient will be diluted considerably. The exact dilution depends on the patient's individual respiratory pattern. In this video, we have chosen the most widely agreed estimates of the inspired oxygen concentration that can be achieved by different devices and at different flow rates. The variable performance of these devices, according to each patient, make it even more desirable that oxygen therapy is titrated against the measurement gained from pulse oximetry.